Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new, new here. I'm Ashley and this is my world of books, writing, and vlogging. And in this video, I am going to talk about my summer reading plans. I know most people do monthly TBRs, monthly wrap-ups. I would really like to be able to stop doing that myself, but I have a... Well, I, I guess my giant TBR isn't really a problem for that, but I am don't have that much time to read. In fact, I haven't picked up the book I'm currently reading in a while now, for a good couple of weeks. I'm kind of mad about that, but... I'm not good at managing my time. I don't have a, have a lot of it, and there's like a lot I'm doing and want to do. So I'm trying to fix that, but I would eventually li like to like to be able to walk up to to have to be able to do monthly TBRs if I can make myself read a little bit faster, or at least just have more time to read. But I keep going on that tangent, and, I, and so. <laughs> enough of that but uh, but I'm not I'm not there at that point of monthly TBRs yet so I just so I decided to just kind of have a, a, a summer reading goal to, that I would like to accomplish or almost accomplish I, I'll be if I don't fully accomplish it I'll be happy uh, as long as I make a dent in it so uh, this is just gonna be a general my my reading plans for the summer and I think it's kind of reasonable. My plans for the summer, I would like to finish or mostly finish all the books I have on my um, bedside table which is the which which holds the books that's the, the closest to me reading. Um, I'll put a small little video clip right, right, here, right here so you guys can just kind of get a visual of it so those are the books that I'm that's upcoming there's seven books not counting the one I'm currently reading cu currently reading so it's technically eight I'll go t I'll go through them really quickly for you guys so you guys can just see what I plan on reading for the summer and I hope hope I get through most of them there's some giant books in here so who knows We'll start off the bat with the first book, with the book I'm currently reading, which is the first book in the Renegades trilogy by Marissa Meyer. Renegades. I'm not that far into it. I ha I don't I haven't picked this book in uh, picked this book up in weeks, and it's not that it's bad. Not that I'm not enjoying it. Well, I've I well as much as I've. Been able to enjoy it since I'm not that far into it. I am interested in it. It's just that I haven't had time. I've I haven't made the time to read and pick it up. But I really I really should and I really want to. So I can't say much about what's happening. I I, I am interested in it. I've been interested in it. And it's, so hope thing. Uh, here's hoping I. Get back into reading because I've kind of hit the reading wall. Wall, not so much a reading slump. I'm never really, yeah. So that is Renegades. That it's a dystopian, more no, no, it's not dystopian. It's more like superheroes. Now that I've actually read it a bit, it's like superheroes and superheroes and villains and that kind of vibe. Sorry. I mean, it's different for me, kind of, so I'm interested in it, and it's, yeah. Then the next book I'll be reading after that is, I'll be going into Contemporary again, and that is An, Ab An Abundance of Catherine, Catherine's by John Green. The sticker will be off of it by the time I read it. I take I don't I I have a th thing I don't take the stickers off until I get to the box and I don't know it's just kind of my it's just kind of my thing that when I that I I get to the book and then I'm and then I take it off and just I don't know I don't know why I do that it's just something I do so this is a contemporary book another John John Green book that I've 
decided to be read, read after reading the Fault in Our Stars in Pipple Towns and, look, and Looking for Alaska. And I'm sure I like this one. So. Then the next one is The Cellar by Natasha Preston. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this is about. Um, um, I think it might be a series. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I'm not I, I think it's contemporary. I don't know. It might be a, a little bit of a thriller. I think it's a kidnapping story. That's really uh, so. So really, I know next to nothing about this about this book, which is kind of a good thing. So I won't be expecting anything. I, I don't won't know anything. So yeah, I mean, I am interested to see what this book is all about. <laughs> And then after that, I have Everless by Sarah Holland, and it's been a while since I've read since I've re read the summary to this, and I think it's a dystopian. Oh, it has the decorated edges. I have I have I haven't read a book like that in a while. Not exactly. It might be dystopian or fantasy or somewhere in that genre. So yeah, I, I I know I could be reading the summaries to these, but I I would rather read the summaries when I'm closer to reading the book to get me actually actually more inter interested in it. And if I read the summaries now, I might be a little bit more distracted off of Renegade. So if anybody's read Everless, let me know. No spoilers, just let, tell me if you liked it or not. <laughs> and then the next one. I'll be highly anticipating because it's the finale of a series and it's the first chunk of a book well besides Renegades Renegades, but it's the first chunk in this new new box, which is the last book in the Red Queen series by Victoria Aviard, Warstorm. Oh my god, I'm ready and not ready, especially with how the last book ended. Oh my god, and it's huge. I'm I'm no stranger to huge books. I almost kind of love when a book is huge. I don't know. I can't read the summary, summary because I'll get back into the squad and I'll feel that pain again. And So yeah, moving on before I get too sad again. And then the next one is another chunk of a book. It's probably, could, could be bigger than that one, kind of. And to be fair, and it's paperback. <laughs> And it's not, and it's and it's heavy as. It's another favorite series of mine. The fin the finale of the of the series, which I thought the last book was the finale, but this one just came out, so it's the fifth book in the Tiger's Cross series. I can barely hold it up; it's so heavy. Um, Tiger's Dream, the fifth book. I'm really interested to get back into the series. Like I said, I thought the last, thought the fourth book. Tiger's Destiny was the last book, and it kind of wrapped up nicely, so I'm a little nervous and scared of what this book installs. This big, heavy book, oh my god. And this is paperback too, and it is, and it is heavier. Like, Warstorm is light compared to this one. Let's see. I'm not fake. I'm not faking this. The Tycho's. Oh, come on! My book's just totally messed up. It's falling over. This book is heavy. Yeah. And then the next one after that, it's a collection of novellas from the Lunar Chronicles. This is entitled Stars Above. And the Lunar Chronicles is by by Melissa Mile Mile Seen Hill. Which is the same author, author as Renegades. The Little Chronicles is one of my favorite series. I loved it. It's a dystopian fairy tale retelling. Yeah, I love it. I love that series so much. So I'm eager to read the novellas set in a series. It's been a long time since I've been in that world, so it'll, it'll be very nice to go back into it. And then the last book in, um. 
for my summer reading plans will be the second book in the House of Night Otherworld series, Lost. It's, again, it's been a while since I've been in the House of Night series, and it's been a while since I read the first book in the Otherworld series, Love. So I'm pretty sure I remember everything that happened, happened in that book, because it, cause that much, I don't think not that much happened in that book, so I should remember everything that's happened, and yeah. I love the House of Night series, and I'm I'm always happy to go back into that series, so that's the last book for the, my summer reading plans. Hopefully, I'll get through most of them, if not all of them, maybe half of them. What are your guys' summer reading plans entails? Let me know. Do you guys do monthly TBRs, or do you just kind of read what you want whenever you want? Or are you like me, and or, or are you like me, and you barely find the time for reading? <laughs> reading. Let me know down in the comment section, and I'll definitely, I'll definitely give you, I'll definitely give you guys an update at the end of the summer to let you know how you did. Give this video a thumbs up for summer coming, summer reading. Comment down below nice things and if you're not and 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 if you're not subscribed subscribed already please do if you like the content i'm gonna be putting out which it, which will be more frequent frequently and i'm doing a good job of, of that so far i'll see you see you guys in my next video bye